Jumps up. He's going to be targeted. Tavares just jumps for it. And there it is. Before the fight's even done, GG is called from MVP Hot 6. They knew this one was over for a while. So IG skate on to day number two. His blinks are just so aggressive. You, you know, he was very close to getting the kill on the Tusk, and he was probably frustrated that his ultimate didn't give anything. And he is going to hit pretty hard now. He has a power. Oh, he shot. 400 Long way in. Both tops away straight away, though. But Sports to get a reaction now from Team Map. On the side of Fitz with a blink forward. Man, they drop so quickly. They're fighting so hard. Sad, however. Man moaning up against Sal the PKB. He has to doppelganger away from this one. He'll leave a couple of Seconds without a Phantom Lancer. You know, is that they were a little bit too afraid to go for anything, but Bone 7 is going to try to snipe the courier. It's not in range, though. Oh, these are the next level strats. Oh, that we my. Cloud 9. Oh, it's going to go. Oh, wait a second, he showed himself in middle. He's opened some bottom lane for LGD. They dive in deep and they just keep going. The snowball and can disrupt a, a heavy commitment. Maybe he's down to a lower percentage of his mana pool, but they finally have to go resolution. Orchid and he self fuels us to try and get out. Now in comes Silent, focusing on him and White. He's out of the fight for now. He's got two of his teammates. They move out of the ripping apart the leader. Everyone's yeah, who's also dry for the blink up. Maybe he jumps in again, but low heart dance, keeping the jury tosses flying. Maybe he's on the run out. He needs Pushing back against Jerex, they're going to try and battle over that bounty road. MP actually dropping very low already. They need a couple more right clicks. Fate really gunning for it. Needs a little bit more. The Lance comes out, but it's still not enough. He's going to survive with just a sliver of HP. He's got to the stun low. Like Shrinker A actually lands on him. He keeps the health function alive. Now he's stuck. He's on the wrong side of the picture on that one. And the team MVP Hot Six start running him down. And oh, like Shrinker Ray landed. And that's going to be first blood going to Jerex. They're going to try and wrap in around behind Team Empire. The Courier is delivering in the gem at the moment, and they actually attack the Courier with the Wolves. This might fly the fact that Empire there behind him, and maybe the jump on the Abyss of Light. They can top in the MP, catching out to with the Sonic, with the Snowball. Protect him well enough. Maybe he didn't jump until the way. Yoki trying to take off the kill, and then even glimpsing him back. Styler down for the count. This could be it. Yow's on the run back. You have your buyback coming in from the Lycan, but he's losing his teammates. Close encounter there with the Spirit Breaker. Newbie now, they're looking for a smoke. Moving into the jungle, they've got a hookshot available. QM Femi farming up a camp. It might be their last camp for a bit, bit of time because June coming in the sun spike. Onto Femi, looking for QM, but QM with the race is pretty sanctioned. Let the finger onto QM. Femi, he's, he's going to fall almost at the end. They do find the kill. June studying the corpse. He pops it down the death one. Hit it onto June. Oh, bring down the top one. KP looking for me now. Moving in. KP is the winter's curse. Onto QM holding March and notes back. KP getting low mood. Look at the damage he's doing here with the desolator. One more hit. Not quite enough to bring that KP down. March with the It's going to do it fairly quickly with the damage and the crits from KP, but I'm sure Nubi will want to contest. This is a very good placement for the healing ward. The least likely cliff to be checked by Stand the Warrior. Moving in with the Arctic Burn here. He's got the Winter's Curse available. He's going to. He's going to use it straight away now with the jump in here from Moo. The damage, the side blades. Look at the side blades going now. June with a one shot. Trying to disrupt the fight, keeping Nox and Febby out of it. Sashing the Moo. They're getting on Q. It's not too much here. With the Recruit and the Warrior on click. Sashing. You can't fly away for that. Oh, Banana with the biggest figure of his life. Taking a kill in return. It's a two for two so far. Starting away from Rabbit. Clicks Q and Febby. Febby getting himself south. Q and going north. Dude's gonna try and chase his one down. Q is gonna look to the left again. No, he's gone for the team. Oh, he gets himself out. He gets himself out, which means MVP take that trade there. Three for two. 
so this weave actually is going to provide them with, at its peak, 36 armor for the entire team for that last second. They're going to pre This is going to be such a hard defense for Na'Vi. PG Gaming coming out of the mid lane. Hex up to Fennec. The fortification oh, is coming. Chalagre oh. just in time here. Dendi is there. A force is backed up as well. He's ready for the defense with Zaneko tethering him up. Five back for Bunny jumping in straight out there. They won. Oh, the Chalagre is stolen. And Fennec's still alive. And now he's going to contribute. Gets it to Fennec. Steals the blink. And Fennec's going to live. The snowball will go out to him. They just finally go down. Now Dendi with a good blade. That's a super. Bring him low. Oh, star. He's almost saying going to die. Half finds the kill. The foul two. Looking for Dendi. He just bought something. He just he just bought a moon shot. Oh, he's gonna be the moon shots. He can't is this gonna it. be it? Will the moon shots do it for him? Eats it up. This is effectively oh, a five oh, on okay. three. We're gonna be oh, oh, looking for super straight into the SF. A full recap of day one, and uh, what better way to end, I guess. I, I'm not sure about number one in that top ten, but almost a sad way of ending the day because Na'Vi obviously going out on a mistake as well. So, I don't know. How, what do you think about that first day? It's an explosive start, and it's just the first day of six. I still think that they, even if he got the grave on AM there, that was actually yeah. completely over. So, luckily, not ending on just that one mistake, yeah. but still sad for Na'Vi. I think LGD Empire, throughout these highlights as well, yeah. it just uh, kind of shows how... That series was so high level. I actually think that was the best games we had yesterday. Interesting as well that we saw a lot of action from MVP in that top 10. And, and they didn't go through yesterday. Hot 6 did. But Phoenix did. And that's got to give a little bit of hope to the Koreans, isn't it? I mean, it they have to carry on March legacy, the legacy of March, you know? Yeah. It was very intense games. Honestly, they put up a great fight. Yeah. Where do they where do they go from here, Winter? Where, where do they where do they build off this? Because you know, trying to qualify last year, qualifying this year, getting to top twelve is a, is a great achievement, but it's it's still not where Koreans I know like to dominate games and win tournaments. So where do they go next? I mean, there's improvement, that's for sure. But uh, as of now, I think they can even go further. I feel like a lot of confidence right now after that win, and I still believe that they have a lot of like usable strategies that they haven't really shown everyone else in the event and. Coming off a win like this is going to give them a lot of confidence that we can actually do this. We can actually play our own game and actually go far. As they're in best of three now as well, yeah. that's the bigger part. There you have some ability to actually pull out these strategies. Mm. So. Yeah, we aren't, we aren't going to see them back today, but we will see them tomorrow in the lower bracket against Team Empires. It's, it's a tough ask to, to come across a team who actually looked quite good yesterday, even though they went out. But they've got that potential to be very good Team Empires. So how do MVP Phoenix kind of you know, conquer that? It's going to be very tough. Yeah. Empire shows should, they, should they just spend the whole day today just watching everything the Empire have ever done in 684? I think focus on your own game as much as possible. Of course, you prepare for your opponents, but they need to just try and refine what they're doing and bring their game as much as possible. Okay, we're, uh, we're going to move on to day two in just a moment, but uh, there is one other story that we would like to bring to your attention if you didn't notice it yesterday, and that is of March from MVP. He has a fantastic story and a very sad story. He's now 28, of course, which is, in my opinion, no age for a gamer, but he's on the verge of retirement because he has to go and do two years military service. And he was with Casey yesterday after his win. Fresh off their win versus Newbie, we have March with MVP Phoenix. How are you feeling right now? Very hyped up. Uh, I don't know. I, all I remember is just screaming in the booth and then I feel like I'm back in rea reality that I need to calm down. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At what point during this particular game did you realize that you might have it? Uh, I The game was very close, mm -hmm. but around the Dire Secret Shop where Lion missed a stun and got lucky bashes on three people, I think that's the point where... I felt strong, strong to win the game. 
How are you feeling as a team? You have fought your way to get here. You won the wild card, and now you just beat Newbie. How, how does it feel to have come this far? I, I want more. I, I, I don't know. I want more. After the taste of victory, I think I want more. <laughs> I want to go further. How, how much farther do you think you get? As much as I can, yeah, until I pass out. Until you pass out? Yeah. Well, that would, be, that would mean you gave it all you got. I think I can give it more, yeah. Really? Yeah. As, as captain, what were you doing to lead your team to this victory? Uh, to be honest, I think I was just feeding in the game. All I was doing was screaming to hype up the team, bring the team more that we can win. And then at the end, I saw my items and scores, and it wasn't so impressive. <laughs> Describe that moment when you saw that. Uh, when I saw my items? Yeah, yeah. Well, like, you usually would go BKB or, like, Tanky items, but I had like one random plate mail, one random ogre club, and no no finish items. <laughs> I was one and nine or something. <laughs> I, was, I didn't even know until the end, but I'm very happy that we won though. Oh my gosh. Are you going to allow this to sink in a little bit, or are you already looking ahead to the next game? I think we'll uh, enjoy our victory first, but not too much. We... We just figured out, we, we know that the next opponent is Empire, and they seem very strong against LGD. But I think we can take them, and that's why we are. We have to go back and analyze our replay all over again. Yeah. When you and I chatted earlier, we talked about your strengths and weaknesses as a team. What are those now that you've been through the group stages and you've played your first international game? I think like at this big stage, we could have been scared. UB is a team that's uh, full of experience. They are TI last year TI champions, but we never been to TI. But like I said, we are none, none of us get scared that much or we try to not get scared and then uh, we're a very tempo team and once you get rolling I think we can take any team down. How does it feel to be representing South Korea like this? I'm very proud. I hope uh, there will be much more Korean teams and like I hope uh, Korea becomes a big part of Dota in esports, uh, Dota esports as well.